Here's a quick video for those of you that can't stand your fender saddle screws being too high and digging into your hand while you're muting your strings. So here's an American Tully with the problem. I'm already in the process of doing this, so simple fix, cheap. You need a couple of tools. You don't need to go buy a new bridge and stuff like that. So stand by, I'll show you what to do. So first things first, use something to measure the height. What I use is a caliper, which I have, which is a great tool. Looks like this. It shows that this one's up about 35 thousandths of an inch too high. You don't need this. You can use anything. But use some means for determining how high up this is. You could even mark it with a Sharpie, which is what I've also done. Or you can go in here and mark how high it is, basically. And you can always get that black mark off with a little bit of alcohol. And once you do that, you're going to pull it out like I did to this one. So this one is over here. And I'll be marking that one here shortly. And I'll show you what to do to grind it down using a little bench grinder. And just being very careful with how to do that. Just a little side note. When we marked those threads, when, they were, when the threads were protruding out of the saddle, we marked the side that has the hex key in it. That is not the side to grind, but you can count the number of threads that are sticking up, and then you're going to mark the other side about the same way. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can see it's about three threads right there. We're just going to mark the other side, because that's the side we're going to grind. So do not grind off the side that has the hex opening. So I marked the other side now. You can see the left side, if I can roll this, I don't know. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, you can see there I marked the threads originally. Now we've marked this side. If I can get it, there we go. It's probably one thread further, but that's okay. It'll be slightly below the surface, but it's important not to grind too much. Because if you grind more than one thread too much, then when you try to get the string to the same height it was originally, this will thread all the way through and then drop out the bottom side of the hole and you're not going to have enough screw left. So it's important to get the right number of threads and mark it so that you can see it while it's being ground. So you put it just carefully into a drill chuck. You don't have to put it in too tight. It's, uh, you don't, won't ruin the threads at all. Here I have it in there as you can see. And we're going to rotate it while it's being ground. Just like that. On a bench grinder. This you'll definitely need. These are cheap. Most of you probably have one. If you don't, you can pick one up at Home Depot. Not too much money. Always handy to have in your workshop. So we'll fire it up. So we're just going to go straight in on the bench grinder while this is rotating. Until we get all that left stuff on. So now, let me get this focus a little bit better, I hope. So now we've got the ink off, but there's some burrs on the edge, so we're going to put that tape around the end so that when we put it into the, the, um, the tap hole, it will thread nicely. So we're just going to put it in. That's all it takes. Just one final note, if I can get this in focus here. Just to have it in a drill for sure, don't do it in a pliers because when you're rotating it, you can hold the drill straight on and the bottom, you can see it, is flat. Then I put that little tape around it on the side so it'll thread in nicely. You can see how flat it is. So you want it flat like that so that it sits right on the bridge. So here's a couple that I've done. Voila, and below the surface it's great. They sit flat, no more hand scraping, which was really annoying while I was jamming with the band. So we'll put this other one in and should be about it for the video. Okay, one final note. Just make sure you do them one or two at a time like I'm doing here because the center ones are slightly longer than the edge ones I found out that sort of makes sense because of the radius on the fretboard because this center fret 
is actually higher than this one because of the because of the radius. So these screws are longer than these. So if you take this one out and grind it down and then don't know where you took it from and put it here, you're gonna have the wrong height. So just do them each saddle at a time like I'm doing here. So I'm on the third string. So there we are all complete. So the action isn't exactly the same, but it's close. So now what you can do is adjust the action to your liking. The nice thing about this is we didn't have to change the intonation at all. So we didn't have to change the adjustment of any of these intonation screws. So those of you that don't know how to set your intonation, all you need to do is just loosen the strings, take each of these out one by one, don't change anything, put them in one by one, and you're good to go.